very good evening to my co uh, colleagues and the attendees in the Asia Pacific Indian subcontinent. A very good afternoon to my colleagues in Europe and in Middle East and Africa. And a very good morning to all my colleagues who are based out of uh, the Americas. So uh, quickly we'll start. So uh, like the point which Muni was mentioning in terms of strategic planning. So the very first question that comes in is what exactly is strategic planning? We are saying okay strategic planning in the post COVID scenario. But what exactly just the term strategic planning, in, I mean, it basically means. So if I were to explain it in a sentence, so strategic planning is the, uh, the process of uh, documenting and establishing a direction of your business by assessing where you are and where are you trying to go? You know, where are you going? So the strategic plan gives you a place to record all your mission, your vision, your values, your long term goals, uh, your actions plans and how you'd be utilizing those action plans to reach them. Any strategic plan, uh, a well-written strategic plan plays a pivotal role in your business's growth and success. And it tells not just you, the business owner, uh, all the, or the top management, it also tells your employees how to respond to opportunities and challenges and where the ship is moving. Now that being said, uh, I'll just uh, share a couple of facts. In fact, I'll share a fact. Uh, despite the benefits of having a strategic plan in place, a growing number of business owners uh, aren't focusing on the long term strategies. And this, uh, the number to be precise will be 63%. This was as a constant contact survey that was done in, in the US market around a year back pre COVID, where thousands of thousands of uh, MNCs, where 63% of, of them said that they only plan just one year or less in advance. So this is the importance of the crux uh, and we are talking about and especially in a disruptive scenario where COVID, uh, not just COVID, now we are getting new variations of COVID, uh, the COVID-19 virus. This actually becomes a very critical uh, piece to handle. In a nutshell to say, I'd say it's a process that is uh, of looking ahead that should involve your entire business, the discussions that are involved with it that will bring the meaningful changes and uh, not just analyzing the business and setting realistic goals. This also leads to a creation of formal document that lays out the company's views and goals for the future. So maybe if we can we want to go back a year before so we can found where we stand. Now the next question that's going to logically come is okay. This is fine. Then what are the benefits I get from creating a strategic plan? So it's not just the plan that gives the benefit. The entire exercise of, of strategic planning has four key critical elements which are involved to it. And I'll just go one by one, which are those four key critical elements. So in a nutshell, it, uh, the process obviously uh, it helps you. It fosters an increase in productivity, contributing to the success of business. And plus, we'll be getting better ideas of goals perspective. So all these perspectives uh, get you a very good insight. In addition to that, it's also beneficial to reach out to people outside to your company so you can get your uh, opinions. Uh, for example, if I mean, uh, let's say I, I have vendors, so vendors will also be having a unique perspective of your of the industry you are operating in. So when as a part of the planning process, also when we talk to them, they tell us, <coughs> sorry, how they think about the business landscape in the future. Uh, point number two, uh, again, it's increasing productivity. So. The moment we involve any, uh, we involve the employees in the planning process. Not only they receive a sense of accountability, they are also they get excited. Okay, they are contributing in that process, and they are well informed of the business's goals and objectives. So they are more likely to achieve those targets. It's, it's basically if you are uh, if, if you are a uh, if you are captain of a ship, if your employees know, okay, my ship is sailing from this location to this location. Definitely, it helps. The third point. It identifies your strengths and weakness. So when we are digging in, when we are brainstorming, we, we are able to examine and analyze our entire business. So we'll be able to know, okay, which are the areas where we are doing well and which are the areas if we are not doing well. And by identifying these areas, it gives an uh, employees to improve, uh, to improve. One of the points would be uh, in, in terms of productivity, but also by minimizing the risks which are associated with uh, activities that we are performing, especially in this COVID scenario. So although it might, you know, uh, it, it's very good 
to you no know, to for any business to excel we should never forget to involve your employees because they would be the people who would be telling you the points which we might not be you know very well be working on and the yeah. last point last but not the least could be setting the direction of the business and and fostering a proactive business so by the end of the process once the whole entire process has been done uh, the employees should would be having a clear direction where you are going for you want the business to go these discussions and the planning process itself helps to put the business in the best position to succeed in the future uh, more adding to that it gives the business team to figure out how to grow over the next 5 years and to address new opportunities and challenges uh, so in future the business doesn't stumble down uh, the road so we have a clear vision